Because you know you need that. Time for that recap. Put your hands up for the recap. Hey! Hey guys, Pastor Kyle here. I wanted to give you a quick just kind of update and overview uh, of our series over the last uh, two weeks. Part one, we talked about Field Up for the Journey. I talked about how the most important thing you can do is to strengthen and nourish your soul, but it's so easy for us to forget about that. We discussed three types of food that every person needs to fill up their soul. The first ingredient that you need is to read the Bible, man. It's God's Word. The second ingredient is prayer. It's so important that you pray. Dear Jesus, uh, God the Father, and the Holy Spirit, hello, uh, Kyle here. Um, I really could use like a new car, uh, maybe some new rims. I, I, I need a, some tinted windows too, if you could hook me up. And I, not prayers like that, but prayers that align you with God's will. Prayers that connect you with God. And please, don't forget about the last ingredient, which is the Holy Spirit. So hey, there you have it. If you have those three essential ingredients, my hope, my prayer, is that you don't burn out as a Christian, that you don't bonk out and fall out and give up. Pastor Kyle, I don't want to go to church anymore because my girlfriend just broke up with me. I'm bonking out. I'm bonking out. Pastor Kyle, I farted in home act and everybody heard it and now they call me fart boy. I'm bonking out. That's it. I'm bonking out. I'm bonking out. I'm bonking out. I'm bonking out. Hey guys, please don't bonk out, but run with all the diligence you have inside of you and make sure that you're filled up for the journey. And last week, we talked about hurdles and stumbling blocks. I don't know what to do. You can be fueled up for the victory. You can have the right amount of Bible reading, Holy Spirit engaged in your life, and praying on a daily basis. But stumbling blocks and hurdles are still going to occur in your life. But we realize that growth is only forged through the crucible of pain. When the Apostle Paul was trying to encourage and convince his people in the church of Corinth that he was a Christian and an apostle, he didn't try to show up and bring his highlight reel. Instead, in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, 22-27, he tells them all the craziness he's gone through and how God has still kept him standing. You guys are going to go through pain, you're going to go through suffering, but don't get bitter through it. Get better, as long as you trust in God as you go through the journey. Get ready for this week. Oh, 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 o